Welcome to a LEGO room update. Slightly different. Normally I do LEGO city updates, LEGO halls, occasionally speed builds, occasionally little reviews maybe, quite a lot of shorts. But this video is going to be a room update. I am adding more room for my LEGO because I haven't got enough room for it, as you can see. It's quite a lot. All hidden away underneath my LEGO city. There's also three bins up in the attic not proper bins you know like a plastic thing where you put your lego in so i need to add more storage so i'm going to be adding shelving units here also shelving units this side to display all of my lego around here may even add a shelving unit going across the top of the tv at one stage that won't be in this video but it will be coming eventually probably add some nice lighting as well like I've got some nice lighting underneath the Lego City where I have my winter village uh, in December was underneath here there's still my own express and I found those pieces if you remember from the previous video but I'm going to crack on I'm going to build some shelving and I'm going to start displaying some Lego update on the shelving I built three sets so there's one two three they're all at the same height keeping the TV in the middle here I've got to all be moved back and attached to the wall so there's no chance of them falling over. I've got to move my wall art from up here. So I've got one wall art there. I've got, I've got about three or four other wall arts that I have built over time. So I've got to do that as well. And they'll be going on to this side of the room. And I'm going to put my wall up on a wall art up on this wall. Uh, there's my Eiffel Tower. I do have to plug that in because I have got a light kit on there which you may have seen in different videos. But so I'm going to start work now on removing the wall art, attaching the shelving to the wall, um, obviously putting them together and uh, see how it goes from there. So up there on the Lego shelves, they are installed. There they are, full as well. Now, no enough full, I could probably squeeze some more sets on there. But we'll start off having a look at some of the sets. There's a lines like that, Lions Knight Castle, which I removed from that Lego City. Lego Harry Potter castle as well, uh, Home Alone House, Monkey Kid, Sesame Street, The Flintstones, uh, Lego Ideas, Winnie the Pooh, some Lego Technic vehicles as well, and some Lego Creator, uh, is that what they're called? Icons, the Land Rover, and the Lego City Arctic Explorer ship. Over this side, we've got the Lego Treehouse, the Lego Treehouse, <laughs> the Lego Ideas Treehouse. Lego Dreams house, Treehouse, some Lego Creator sets that came out this year, 2024, Lego Ideas Polaroid Camera, Lego Creator 3-in-1 Camera, some Lego sets this side as well, Mario, the Lego Fender Guitar, Lego Disney Little Train. On the top shelf, so we've got the Lego McLaren, Technic McLaren, we've got the Lego, oh, uh, that's a rebrickable, so that's 25. Over here, we've got the Lego Concorde, which came out last year. Down here we've got some Lego A-Frame Cabin, Lego Blacksmiths, got some Lego Technic sets there from the 80s and 90s. Over this side got some more Creator Animals, I'm trying to keep all the animals together so they're on there. I've got to pick up a few more of them, some Lego ships and the, there's a the Viking ship as well. So over this side I've got more Lego up in the attic. I've got five Lego boxes this size these plastic big bins at the moment there's instructions in there from the sets i've been building recently but i got five of them up in the attic full of lego built all in separate bags so they don't get mixed up this is my lego backlog and also some lego sets that won't be being built because they're so old so i'm just keeping them sealed there's my lego's ferris wheel lego disney castle and there's plenty of room on the lego city oh, i recently built the lego city um prison island i think it's called i can't remember exactly what it's called epic little build if you can pick that up i'd pick it up recommended it. it's very good in my opinion and if you can get it on sale even better comes with some cracking little details and play features some more lego sets that i've not cracked open yet and I'm gonna, i've got two of these because i'm hoping to build a modular of the lego family reunion celebrations and there's a little view of my lego city got a lot of cleaning work to do and some moving around still haven't lowered me planes because they're still a bit too high up in the sky i would rather them be about this sort of height 
so they're in more in uh, in the shot when I'm filming um, and when I'm standing in the room as well because it's quite a big room now got a lot of room considering where I started about eight months ago now I've managed to get a room this size so I can sit down build Lego on my little table here watch people on live streams and that on TV or watch a football match or watch the F1 when it's on in March but uh, it's looking pretty cool you have to let me know down in the comments below what you think if you've got any ideas um what you want me to see what you want to see on the channel I don't know I don't know what I have to say oh one thing I do keep forgetting to say is please like and subscribe <laughs> I always forget to say um, don't forget to subscribe if you like what you see. Well, that just sounds a bit weird, but I've said it anyway now. So, yeah, what else have I got? Oh, I've got a Diagon Alley on top of the fire. There we go. It's on top of the fireplace. There's a calendar just to prove that we still are in January. I haven't seen no snow in my area. There's a few wall arts I got up as well. So I've got Elvis, I've got Spaceman, I've got Batman. There's a the Lego Eiffel Tower. I haven't got the lighting kit plugged in still because I need to get an extension lead to go from there to there. I'm having time to go to the shops. I don't really want to go to a shop and pick an extension lead up. I'd rather go to the shop and pick up a Lego set. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this Lego tour and adding shelving to my Lego room. You can see it's quite a big room. It's about 23 foot by about 12 foot wide, something like that. So it's quite big. Um, Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheerio, bye.